time. You children run along now. It's bedtime. I'll come tuck you in. Yes, Grandma. Do we have to, Grandma? Betty enters the living room. She is slender with deep blonde hair and a fair complexion. She looks sadly at Steve, her husband, a brute of a man with coarse thoughts as well as coarse looks, glares at his unruly mother-in-law. Leave the kids alone, will ya? Betty can put them to bed. Mrs. White stares at him. All right, take him away from me. She looks pensively at Betty. I was only trying to help. Steve ignores her and picks up the evening paper. Come on, Mom. We'll both put the kids to bed. Cheer up. Mrs. White forces a smile on her own worn, sad face. You're so good to me, honey. It's all right, Mom. Come on. They leave with the children. Steve reads for a few more minutes and then retires. Ms. White strolls out into the living room to watch some more TV. The phone rings and shatters the peaceful night. Night pan. Ms. White picks up, picks the receiver up quickly so as not to disturb the household. Hello? Who's calling? Hello? Who is this? If this is a joke... This ain't no joke, lady. Now you listen good. Keep your trap shut, or you had it. What do you want? Look, sweetie, you just bring the 200 smackers down the mid-calf bar tonight, and you'll stay in one piece. Get me? Steve enters half asleep. Oh, hey, what are you up to anyway? Get to bed. She begins to cry. Steve rushes over to her and asks her what happened. She tells him the whole story. Betty enters the living room. Mother, what, what happened? <clears throat> Betty runs toward her as Stevie calls the police. Peter, 
the cops. Steve breathed under his breath for Betty. Honey, honey. It is right laughs hysterically as in a dream. the fallen gun and in his death spasm he shouts Mrs. Wright. He shoots Mrs. Wright. She parades the room twisting with pain. up the gun and shoots Steve's dead body, laughing insanely. She then runs to the mirror and looks at the blood on her face. She smashes the mirror with the gun. Her trembling hand points the weapon to her head and she pulls the trigger. The police knock on the door. Hey, what's going on in there? Open up. They break the door down and enter the room, blood-soaked room. Their tracks stop dead. Jesus. <laughs> 